Hi, I'm Massimo Bell, and this is Dust Read. Chanza started as a conversation between the two of us three years ago in the wake of the passing of Sophie, the legendary musician and artist. And really just grieving um, the loss of Sophie, which led to us kind of just discussing the gifts that trans people give to the world and expressing a desire to create a project that really positioned trans people as leaders in our society insofar as the deep inner work that they do. Sophie, along with the PC Music Collective, shifted the landscape of American pop music. So for the purposes of this project, we've taken the word transa and are defining it as this verb or action that means to love without limits, and also that you are more than you know. We want everyone to be able to see themselves in this project, not just people who identify as trans today. And so for that reason, we've invited artists across genre to celebrate and support trans communities through a cross-cultural, intergenerational musical collaboration leveraging the most respected artists in the world. We've got Charday, Sam Smith, Moses Sumney, Beverly Glenn Copeland. Jeff Tweedy of Wilco. We have an original song from Adrian Lenker. Adrian Lenker, Big uh-huh. Thief lead singer. In 2023, I wrote a letter to Shade, and I just really wanted to express to her how meaningful it would be for a parent of a trans child to show support and love for that child. And she responded in a really heartwarming way and agreed to contribute an original song in support of her trans son, Isaac. It's hard for all of us when we don't have examples of the ways to love and the paths before us that we can take. And trans liberation is a gift to everyone because it expands the categories of what it means to be human. Throughout this project, there are two key themes. Grief that we all experience, but the trans community particularly experiences under the oppression of patriarchal capitalism and transcendence. The possibility in all of us to work through our grief and our pain to come to a state of liberation We have this narrative framework that guides the listener through the spiritual journey. There's eight parts, womb of the soul, survival, dark night, awakening, grief, acceptance, liberation, and reinvention. And then in between each chapter, we have these more ambient instrumental tracks that we're seeing are the black keys on a piano. And these help guide the listener between each chapter of the record. It traces the journey of a spirit being born and then experiencing pain and trauma, but eventually coming through that pain, awakening to it, processing it and grieving it, and eventually coming to a state of self-actualization to ultimately reach a state of perpetual uh, reinvention. Basically saying that um, we all are always changing. Looking at Red Hot's history, we're honored to be continuing the legacy of activism over the last 30 plus years with the most celebrated artists of our generation, including David Byrne, David Bowie, Wu-Tang Clan, Nirvana, D'Angelo, Mary J. Blige, Red Hot and Blue, served as the first lighthouse of hope that things could be different. And we hope to create a similar vision of the future with Tronza. As we know, with 30 years of hindsight, gay people can now hold positions of power and love openly. And we want trans people to be able to hold positions of power and be their whole self. And in addition to that culture shifting work that Red Hat has done over the last 30 years, Red Hat has also given over $15 million to various organizations and benefit projects. This has been done in a way that is come from the artists who have contributed to the record and with their input in a way that's very different than a lot of the ways that institutional giving has existed. And we hope this is just the beginning of your journey with Transa. And thank you.